everyone, it's Laura. We're back on Thriving PKU today answering another question. I got a question from another PKU gal who asked how I deal with having PKU in my workplace. So I think this is a really fun question and unique um, because everyone's workplace is different. I, when I am teaching or when I'm working, this year I'm taking the year off to um, have my baby. But I am a kindergarten teacher, I've taught the last seven years, so my workplace probably looks a little different from people <laughs> who work in an office, but maybe not, I don't know. Maybe some people act like five-year-olds in the workplace. <laughs> um, but anyways, I spend most of my time with the kids and uh, very few times with adults, but um, still I think the same kind of things probably come up as far as um, eating lunch and things like that. So the way I deal with it, which may not be the way everyone deals with it, but I typically, at the beginning of working somewhere, I don't really say much. I don't like run into the lunchroom and be like, I have PKU, look at my food. Um, I just kind of like wait and kind of, I mean, it always comes up. Someone always asks like, hey, what is that food? Or what are you drinking? And uh, my formula, I drink, I used to take it in pill form. I don't anymore. Um, as you can imagine, the pill form of taking formula brought on a lot more questions than uh, drinking something that looks like a protein shake. So I drink my formula in a cup that no one can really see what's inside. Uh, so people kind of, I think a lot of people just assume that I have water in there, um, unless I make a funny face when I, <laughs> when I drink it. Uh, so anyway, so as far as the lunchroom goes, I wait for someone to ask and then, then I'm okay with, you know, coming out and explaining exactly what PKU is to everyone. Um, but I just kind of ease into it. And that's obviously, I mean, when I'm first working at um, a job. And then of course there's like the new people that start working there or whatever. And um, if it comes up, it comes up, but I don't just automatically uh, share it, I guess. That's just how I've um, come to deal with it in the workplace. And I know, I can only imagine, I mean, I've heard from other people that it can be difficult. I can only imagine how difficult it would be if you have like client dinners or things like that. Um, I don't take my kindergartners to dinner, <laughs> so I don't know how that is. So if you have any suggestions about that, I mean, I think it'd be great to leave um, comments in the, in the comment section below for people who may have questions about dealing with that. Um, as far as like with my kids, I don't say anything to them about PKU. My formula, which I drink all throughout the day, I do at times when they're not in the classroom. Um, my more like direct coworkers typically know about PKU sooner because like, for example, at recess, I'm like, hey, do you mind if I go grab my formula and come back out, um, you know, things like that. So then I explain it to them more. My kids have no idea. However, I do have a lot of kids, especially recently, that have food allergies or other things, like they're gluten-free or things like that. And um, I mean, they, so for example, like if there's a birthday and everyone brings, someone brings donuts or something that they can't eat, um, I always like to tell them like, hey, did you know Mrs. Hines used to not be able to eat this stuff either? This is why we keep separate treats for you in the class because I remember being in kindergarten and having this happen. Um, so that's just how, I, I just think it's really cool and the kids are like, oh, wow, that's neat. And then lastly, I'd say something that I think sometimes can be awkward is like when I, we've had days where the administration or maybe your boss has um, put on a, a lunch for you or something like that. Um, when that happens, I, I mean, it's, I always feel like it's awkward because it's like, okay, they're, they're gonna pay for lunch for everyone and now I'm making special requests. But um, I just have to throw those, I, you know, those thoughts out of my head because it's like, well, if I were them and paying for lunch for someone, I would want to pay for something that they could eat, right? Um, I wouldn't want them to sit there and not have anything to eat. I would feel bad and I would wish that they would tell me that before. So um, I just go right out and say it and explain to them what PKU is and just kind of, I try to make it as easy as possible. Like if there's a salad there, I should be okay. Like things like that. Um, but I know that, that can be really tricky. We've had like potlucks in the past and I feel like that's a great way to I actually love potlucks because I think it's a great time to bring your own food and something that's low protein friendly that other people might like. Um, so 
that's just some ideas I have on the workplace. I know my workplace is pretty unique because the majority of my time is with my five-year-olds. Um, but I'd love to hear, like I said, what you guys do in your own workplace if you want to leave it in the comments below. I hope that gives you a little insight um, of, of how you could handle uh, transitioning into the workplace. So I will see you guys next week on Thriving PKU. We're going to answer another question. Bye.